Well, scientists are warning that a crucial tipping point could be reached in just two years' time. They would see the start of the collapse of the Atlantic Gulf Stream if global emissions aren't reduced. Well, the Atlantic Meridian Al Overturning Circulation, known as AMOC, drives the Atlantic's currents by pushing warm water from the Gulf of Mexico northwards towards the Arctic, where it cools and sinks. Well, it last collapsed during the previous ice age around 12,000 years ago and could have catastrophic impacts for humanity. Sea levels would rise around the east coast of North America and storms would worsen in Europe. While rains in Asia, Africa and South America would be disrupted, causing issues for food production for billions of people. Well, Matthew England is an ocean and climate dynamics professor at the University of New South Wales. His Antarctic-focused work is very similar to this latest study. He's with us live now from Sydney. Welcome to the programme. Uh, these kind of warnings have been coming for years, haven't they? No, that's right. I mean, this is a very interesting study out today, but it's very true that actually our first understanding that there could be a bistable uh, state there, that's to say a, a situation where the overturning circulation can collapse. The first science on this was actually out in the early 60s, a fellow by the name of Henry Stommel wrote a very famous paper nowadays and it triggered a whole area of research. And we know from paleoclimate records, from basic theory, looking at the ocean circulation there, as well as the coupled climate models we use to project into the future, we know that this overturning circulation is vulnerable to change under global warming. And we have evidence that it can switch off or collapse altogether. The time scale is a little bit uncertain, but I think uh, all scientists would agree it's a vulnerable system to climate change. You mentioned time scales there. I mean, is this happening more quickly than predicted? And if so, why? Well, it's kind of happening in keeping with the predictions. If you look at the models we use to forecast for this century, all of them show some sort of slowdown of the overturning circulation. Some are more rapid than others. Um, and if we look at the evidence over the last 100 years, it's quite clear from the records we have from paleoclimate records and direct measurements that there's a slowdown occurring of the order of 10%, maybe so far, 15%. And that number's even discussed and debated. Some people might say even higher. Some people will say less. But um, there's definitely not an increase. Um, and all the evidence we have is, is that there is a slowdown underway, and that's in keeping with the projections and it will only get worse as we change our climate system further. What kind of action is needed then, right now, to avoid a tipping point? Can this still be averted? Well, it can still be averted. I mean, it's important to point out that there's a range here of, of collapse points for this circulation in this latest study out today from very soon um, right through to the end of the 21st century. So. 80 or so years from now. So there's, a, there's an uncertainty range to the estimate of this tipping point. And so if it's imminent, we've already pushed the climate system too far. If it's towards the end of this century, then we've definitely got the time to reduce our emissions, to stop this melting of Greenland. Um, but that's why we've been talking about the time for action is now. It's actually uh, 20 years past now in many, on many levels. And that's a that's a dangerous message to mention because we don't want people thinking it's too late. It is not too late because every single fraction of a degree, every tenth of a degree we push the planet's temperatures up, stacks up higher and higher odds of these disruptive changes to our climate system. Matthew England, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Uh, we appreciate your insights. Thank you so much.